Good morning, everyone. Guess what we're doing? We are out here foraging for beauty berries. We've already collected two gallon baggies full. This patch is actually on our property. It's on the very front line, right by this gorgeous tree. I don't even know what kind of tree that is. And um, this is gonna be our last grab. We're grabbing anything we can get our hands on that we can actually, what I, what I would call propagate. We're gonna plant some seeds. We're gonna distribute some seeds along our inner driveway because this is a great resource. You can eat these berries raw. You can use the leaves as an insect repellent and you can make jams and jellies out of this. So we've spent, what, about an hour now? Yeah, about that. Roughly an hour and just along my dirt road, we have collected two gallons of these beauty berries. Oh, there's a beautiful patch behind you, Jim. I've done all the picking up to this point. I am sore, I'm tired, I'm hot, I'm dehydrating. So Jim kind of took over this last little bunch. So look at the. I'm I got, lying these people. I, put, I picked all of them. He's saying he picked all of them. Bull. <laughs> but look at these beautiful berries. It's not hard to pick. They almost fall off in your hands. But look at that, guys. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Now, one of the things I've been doing every patch we've stopped at, I'm doing this. Watch. Woo! I'm trying to get these berries to grow further into the woods a little bit and more on our property but i've done it all along this dirt road so if there is any wildlife that eats it which so far i haven't found any that does there'll be more for them and as well as more for us if there's ever a shtf situation this is one of those go-to foods we know are safe we know are edible do they taste great raw no but they're food when it comes to food you got to take what you got and this will make your food stores go further if you can work with stuff like this. If all you can do is bake bread for a little while, if you have some jam or jelly on hand, or you can make some because you stored sugar, you're ahead of the game, guys. But these are gorgeous berries. And the key to beauty berries, from what I'm observing today, if it's in the shade, they are plump juicy fragrant they're beautiful be water nearby too. yeah and they seem to really like the wetlands so and that's pretty much what this whole road is is wetlands i'm going to show you an area that's this is all our property here and you see how thick it is this tells you what we've been working with for the last seven years of using this property here's another patch of beauty berries you see there's a lot of berries left on there when we glean like this, we're not stripping the plants bare. These plants, we want to continue to thrive and grow and reproduce. And that means leaving the, some of the berries, some of the seeds on the plants. If there is a bird that eats them, great. Because if the birds are eating them, they're pooping them. And where they poop these berries, they'll grow. This is a patch, it's not a pond. There's a drain pipe. I don't know if you can see there's a drain pipe right there okay this water is actively flowing it goes back through the woods and it goes all the way to the back corner of our property where it lands into like a pond so this keeps filtering through and this is from all the rains we've had over the entire summer you can see, look at this. I don't want to fall in here. I don't know what critters might be in there. <laughs> but look at the beauty berries hanging over it. I didn't pick those. <laughs> I can see a couple. There's an animal trail there. There's an animal trail right here. So we definitely probably have some deer coming down here to drink. Who knows, that bear might be making its way in here to cool off. I don't know. It's right by a road. And I can tell you there's other spots cleaner than this as you go back through here so the wildlife might be using that i don't know Ooh, that tree might be coming down watch this follow this look at that that thing is lean look at that it's leaning really hard if that comes down 
it's gonna come down bad. Let's just hope we're not under it when it does. And you can see this is a cypress, so we do have cypress on our property. We have quite a few. When you get back into the wetter areas, there's a cypress. Um, I think there's a few more along this stretch here, but we definitely have at least four or five right here that I can physically see. And the cypress, I'm not sure if it falls into the pine family, but it kind of looks like a pine tree if you could see the tops of them. So, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what they really are. But they're here, and they're on our property. There's some oak. This is an oak right here in front of me. Now, what I have been focusing on this week are little things because we are wanting to get into foraging more, so I'm trying to identify things like these flowers. So we are looking to identify some more plants. There is, it kind of looks, let's see if I can find one up here. We found what looks like um, it might be a good nitrogen fixer because it has bean pods on it and usually there's a plant I need to identify. Oh, it looks like a little snapdragon. Look at that. Oh, look how cute. Really pretty little flower. And then, of course, you got your, your pickers. Those are the pickers. We call them pickers where I grew up. They stick to you. Then we got these ferny things. This could be a wild carrot. It could be a wild asparagus. I don't know. But it's on my list to learn. And as you can see, when you get up here further, they're all through here. Oh, I got pickers all over my shirt, so there must have been some in where I was foraging. Alright, I don't see those beans here. This is all, you see that little wooden fence right by that last tall tree there? That's the corner of our property. I don't see those. I might try and insert a picture in here. And here's another type of tree growing. It might be another type of oak. Oak seems to be the dominant tree here in Florida for some reason. I'm trying to see if there's anything else. We don't know what this is. That's another plant I'm trying to ID. This here grows in different spots and it gets uh, little flowers on it. So there's a lot of things we can identify. Oh, looks like Jim gave up. All right, guys. Let me show you what we got so far. If I don't fall in the ditch, because he's got me right here. See the ditch? <laughs> hey, Jim, pull up so I can get out of this ditch area. Get in the other side. Oh, he's putting me in the driver's seat. I can't film and drive. Where are you? Oh, I see you. He's still picking. I thought he was in the truck. <laughs> All right. This is what we've gotten so far. Look at that. That's a gallon and that's a gallon. And he's got a, like a, a quart, a little over a quart container he's filling. Yes, we picked up tomatoes at the local farm stand. It's all about anything she has good is just tomatoes though. Alright guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and have a blessed day.